Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to tell if you should actually utilize the performance mode in Fortnite Chapter 3 or any other game rendering mode out there in Fortnite. And I'm gonna pull up two separate benchmarks here, guys. One tested on a high-end PC and the other one on a mid to low-end tier PC. And trust me, it will all make so much sense. So first of all, we're gonna actually take a look here at the high-end PC, which is probably something I would say above like a RTX 2060, you know, like RTX 2060, 2070, 2080 or the 30 series those are like more the high-end cards actually on the market right now and here we have actually an RPC Intel Core i9 and a RX 6800 which is super on part with like a RTX 2080 I don't know 3060 something like that boys and yeah we can definitely see in the first place that on DirectX 12 we get the most amount of FPS then next up we have performance mode on low meshes then performance mode on high meshes and last but not least DirectX 11 and yeah guys we can see that the FPS difference between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 is almost 70 FPS which is crazy in my opinion because this can literally determine if your game is playable or not you know especially if you're running like 240 hertz this can be super important for you so therefore guys we can definitely tell on a high-end PC with something like an i7 or Ryzen 7 and a strong GPU anything like above a RTX 2060 you should definitely utilize DirectX 12 and if possible also the Nvidia reflex mode on on plus boost if you have actually Nvidia card because that one will ensure that you have the least amount of input delay as well and once we actually move over to the mid to low end tier pc which is tested here on a gtx 970 i don't want to say that the 970 is bad or anything but it's more in this mid tier section you know like something above like a gtx 680 until like a 1060 i would say is is like in this mid to low end PC section, you know, these cards are a little bit outdated. Um, and definitely we can tell here that high meshes are your way to go guys. So therefore the performance mode with high meshes is actually gonna give you the most amount of FPS in comparison. We can see here next up we have mobile builds, which are pretty much low meshes and low textures. Then we have DirectX 12 and then we have DirectX 11. And the FPS difference between DirectX 11 and high meshes on performance mode are almost 30 FPS. And especially if you're playing like on a real low end PC, these 30 FPS can be so important, you know, that's like maybe like 20-22% of performance increase which you definitely need, especially if you're struggling to get even around like 60 FPS, this can be super helpful for you. So therefore guys, if you rock like a mid to low end PC, definitely utilize high meshes, which are tested here right now on an Nvidia card, but the same results should also be on an AMD card, so therefore don't be worried there. And with that said, we pretty much answered the question how to tell if you should utilize the performance mode in chapter 3, if you're running a high end PC definitely utilize DirectX 12 and if you're running a mid to low on PC just simply utilize the performance mode with high meshes and somehow high meshes actually give you more FPS than low meshes which doesn't make really sense in my opinion but Fortnite really messed up something here in chapter 3 with the optimization and the brand new Unreal Engine but yeah let's see maybe they get it fixed in the near future because I still get to say that low meshes look better in my opinion than high meshes and I really want to utilize them but I guess we just have to wait for the next bigger update and with that said we're pretty much done here and you guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would upload so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace